How's it going guys? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome to Warhammer 40k Battle Sector. This is a brand new installment in the Warhammer game series and I am really looking forward to diving in and messing around with this one because I have only heard good things about the game. The game itself does release next week so if you are looking to pick this up please do consider using either my Games Planet or Nexus.gg storefront pages. They work directly with publishers to bring the keys to you guys as well as that they also give you a Steam key so it's a great way of just helping to support the channel and also you getting a game out of it. And I've heard really, really good things about Warhammer 40k Battle Sector, so I'm actually very much looking forward to diving in and seeing what this game is all about. Uh, I don't think we need to go ahead and play a tutorial. I'm sure I'm a, a veteran enough gamer. You know, fear no fear, as the Space Marines would say. And we'll play on the Astarte difficulty and we'll launch in. So the Devastation of Bow was basically where the Blood Angels, which are these superhuman soldiers on the left here, their home was destroyed by the unyielding st uh, storm of the Tyranids, who are kind of like these biomass creatures that just overrun, destroy everything in their path and get stronger from it, uh, yeah, destroyed their homeland, and now the Blood Angels are trying to reform and save their homelands, or at least heal from their home homeland destruction. Uh, so let's dive in, we'll play on the, I guess, the medium difficulty, I'm sure that'll be a good way to start us off. But yeah, as I was saying, I have heard really, really good things about everybody who's played this game. Everyone said if you're a big fan of space, uh, of uh, 40k games, you're going to have a good time playing this. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing exactly time what we do have access to. Since the invasion, there's an unexpected slowness in the aftermath of an impossible victory. A languid sweetness of air, tasted by the hapless victor. And yet, I also feel the turning of change and the accumulated minutia that falls to the survivors. Corpses to be burned, fortifications to be rebuilt, neophytes to be blooded. Regardless of our losses, we are the angels of death, and we are always prepared for war. Not that these are concerns for the fledgling Primaris right now. Balfora is an unforgiving tutor. Dante says that you are blood angels. Prove it. Show me that the blood of the great angel flows within your veins. Battle line squad ready. Okay, into our first mission, and I, I assume we just have to kind of clear out this position uh, of the of the uh, of the, the home world that is being just absolutely ravished. As well as that, the blood angels are definitely one of the coolest space marine chapters for sure. I'm personally a salamander fan; that they're the faction I collect in 40k along with Tau. And uh, but blood angels always have a special place. They are just one of the coolest factions. These eternal rages that overtake them. Sanguinius was an absolute monster. Primark. And if you don't have a clue what I'm talking about, no need to worry because you don't need to know about the Warhammer 40k lore to enjoy this game whatsoever. So we have a handful of soldiers uh, scattered throughout and we also have assault these assault Marines squads ready. as well. You guys, We can zoom in and nice, take a nice little look at them as well. Pretty pretty nice. So yeah, this is like an isometric uh, kind of tile game where you move in, you have movement points as you can see. So yeah, right here you can see these assault squads have four movement points and an action point. I assume, again, I haven't played this game yet. This is my first time playing it as well, but I've, I've watched enough playing uh, that you know I have a good idea of how everything runs. And that, that goes to show as well, if I've never played this game before, it'll probably be quite easy to pick up. So yeah, you also have an action point which I assume is to do with attacks. We also have these jump packs that give us more boost to our movement but reduces our weapon range accuracy which is fine. So I think we might actually pop these jet packs. We also have a character, a sergeant as well who I imagine will hit very hard. He has a decent evasion, some good armor, obviously a lot of HP as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and jetpack. I mean, let's get up here. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, so this is going to give us less, I think, is it range? Accuracy, yeah, which is fine because we're blood angels and we get stuck in. So let's go ahead and get these guys so it's right click to get up here. Um, I'm pretty tempted to go here actually so then I can hit them like so and then get this guy in as well. Or what's his uh, jetpack like? Yeah, we can get him there as well, which obviously we want to do. So let's do that. Let's get him. He's going to jump his way up here. Obviously he does have his weapon range and we'll move over to his chainsword and we'll get ourselves stuck in there. So he's going to go in and just start cutting down Tyranids. Yeah, killing. Uh, did he actually kill that many of them? Uh, can we do another one as well? I assume... Oh, he probably has two action points then, I guess. Yeah, another couple killed, which is good. Clearing out these uh, Hormagons here is a good... Yeah, now you can see he has no action points. So these guys only have... 
one action point, so one attack. However, that will give them a few extra abilities. I'm going to move myself here as well, just so I'm closer to the rest of my army that we have. So these are our assault squad terminators. Oh, no, not terminators. Terminators. These are our assault squad uh, who have jetpacks, so they can move quite far. And they're just going to cut them down perfect. That should clear all of them out. Is that that squad taken care of? It isn't. There's still some of them left alive. And we have no action points left to do anything. I don't think we can move. Oh, he can move out, actually. But will we take an opportunity of attack? Because in these games, you normally take opportunities of attack. I'm also going to quickly turn up the music a little bit as well. There we go. So we could obviously fire on some bolters. Uh, we have, what, intercessors there? Inter so intercessors are like our basic soldiers, just like normal front line. And then the aggressors are kind of like heavy hitting infantry uh, that just fire loads of damage to the enemy. And these are the bolt variant. You can also get flamer variants, which is super cool indeed. Um, so what we're going to do, probably then, is clear out these Hormagons, even if they're probably not going to do much damage. You can see they're on the, on the screen as well. We do have a 41% chance to hit them. Over here, we have a 63%, uh, and we'll do 3 to 4 damage uh, times 40. Oh my god, it's a lot of bolt fire going in. So that should clear these guys out. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And these guys can't move, I assume? Yeah. So let's just use these intercessors to try and clear out the Xenos. Yeah, perfect. That's them taken care of. That is great. And these guys now no longer have any action point. That's fine. Let's take these Blood Angels. And I guess we're going to push over here. We actually have a lot of ammunition left. There's also some here. Which we might try and fire out at as well. We have no points there. You can move up a little bit as well. Just kind of, kind of cover that section. You guys are fine. You guys have your action points. You guys don't. So let's bring you guys back over here. We are going to bring these intercessors, I guess, in. We're going to try and fire through this terrain. Which I can't imagine is going to be... You know, perfect bolt of fire, but 41% chance to hit every shot. Yeah, you can see many of them just failing because they're hitting kind of this terrain, but doing some damage to that unit is not a bad idea. And um, we'll clear these guys out as well. I wonder if, because we're so close, if we're going to have a hard time hitting them. Yeah, look, look at the damage. There's only two to three damage, but we get 72 hits. The missiles are a good range. And we could also just punch them as well. Yeah, I mean, that would be three dead gaunts if we did that. So we probably just want to shoot them and just try and get as many shots in as possible. We can overwatch as well as change facing. Okay, good, interesting. Yeah, just fire into them. Kill as many as we can. We crit there as well, which is always nice. Actually, got an achievement. Uh, then can we back up? Do we take... I assume we take an opportunity of attack, but I want to get these guys out of there. Or maybe we can just help out here. Let's maybe move in here. Get to the side. Only still only a 45% chance to hit. I guess because maybe these guys are in the way. Let's go and give it another volley. Oh, come on, kill. Oh, my God. So close. So, I want to see if we do... Yeah, we do take that zone of control hit, but there's only two of them. So, we we must not take that much whatsoever. Obviously, we're going to change facing. Um, and I might move these guys, these intercessors in, just to kind of cover my, my good aggressors. And as I said, I want to try and avoid fighting into these guys if I can. Like, let them come, and then we'll just kind of bulk up here and just fire in quite effectively keep them aggressors nice and safe and then these aggress then these assault squads can move in as well so i think that's everything everyone's moved right no one has any action points left you can see that quite nicely and yeah we took a little bit of damage literally like we took like a, a smidgen of damage here so nothing crazy whatsoever oh there's a fallback as well okay interesting so i could have actually probably have fallen back there i know these guys don't get it Oh, and we've got the red first as well. So every um, momentum we get, which I... I'm not sure what momentum is. So red first is basically like this sickness affecting the Blood Angels. Um, but since their Primarch died, fighting Horus in the, in the, the Great Civil War. And... Basically, whenever they just kind of get in, the, in a blood-filled rage, they just go crazy and just kill everything. It's really cool uh, to see, and especially some of their units like the... Wait, what? How did they get over there? I guess they probably have abilities. Um, so yeah, that's, I guess it's good to see that shown in a game like this. So again, we're going to jump on us again, but I'd much prefer them do damage to our intercessors rather than anything else. So that's all good. Okay, so I'll go again. I mean, so far, this is just for basic missions, so not really anything we have to worry too much about. Um, so I guess, I mean, ready. I'm wondering Always if we have like a really low chance to hit because we're like so close to them. Yeah, I wonder. 
So they can just fall back. We can overwatch, which is fine. Doesn't seem like there's any more enemies coming in, so we just kill these guys. We I guess so. We'll, we'll move ourselves in. You guys can't reach out. No. I think you guys can. So you guys go there. We'll throw up. We can't do that. Um, so we'll set ourselves up here, I guess. Yeah, look at them going. And one of the really cool things as well, I believe all your units carry over from every battle as well. So you kind of have like this pre-existing uh, campaign that constantly goes in. Victory you can see, I think we do. Uh, yeah, we're really going to struggle here. So you guys go there. I'm going to fall. Can I fall these guys back? I can't. Yeah, it's not, it's not looking good. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, can you guys get in? Oh, you For can get in. Nice. Yeah, we'll send in our, our lieutenant then. That's perfect. He should be able to cut them down. You guys can't fall back as well. I wonder why. We have, I mean, is this momentum? Oh, this is momentum. When momentum reaches 100, this unit will surge. This unit gains momentum when a uh, model is killed in base proximity. Okay, so we get more of this. And because we don't have any of that, we can't do that yet. We need to use... So it's 2 MP and then how much momentum? Can't actually see it, but I assume you use that momentum to do that. So these guys should be able to now finish off these uh, gaunts over on this side. Perfect. Um, and I, I might take a little bit of damage here. I might fall back here just to kind of clear up the nice little range. We'll get these guys to turn around as well. Which is good. Um, yeah, I might push these guys back. We'll take a little bit of damage from these guys, but then we can just fire in on them, which I think is a good idea. Yeah, we'll take a little bit of damage from the of control. Uh, that's actually quite a bit, but we have what? We always have actually lost a Space Marine, but now this will give us a much better chance just to pile on into them. Um, so yeah, let's use these guys. Let's fire in here. Let's do as much damage as possible. And then these aggressors should be able to finish them off. We have a Bolt Storm, Gauntless. What's the difference? So this is, oh, this is a melee variant. That's fine. I think I'd rather just hammer into them. We have a 55% chance to hit every shot, which isn't good. But obviously that means that like 40 of these should go through. Also, it would not be a bad idea just to maybe overwatch as well with some of these units. Because you can overwatch, which basically means if anything goes in front of you, you get to kill it, basically. Uh, oh, he has another attack as well. I doubt he has enough movement points to get over there, but he can also fire his uh, bolt gun. Maybe My pick off another one. Yeah, that's another Gorn dead. Maybe another one. Yeah, nice. Two Gorn dead. There's only one, one Gorn left in that unit. That's everyone, right? Nobody has any more action points left. Perfect. Awesome. That's that. Let's end the turn. I'm having a ton of fun so far. I have to say, I mean, obviously, this is literally the first mission. Um, oh, look at that. What's the, I wonder why we got to shoot there. These guys obviously weren't on Overwatch. Um, so I wonder why we got to shoot. Maybe because they are moving through my zone of control. Could be a reason why. Um, so we can fire from here, but it would not be looking too good. Okay, so now we've set up there. There's nothing coming behind us, which is good. Let's move our way forward here. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to overwatch this passageway. Can we overwatch, like, multiple? I wonder. Because, I, I, like, yeah, I guess it's like a, a tile. So I guess we're going to overwatch there. You guys are going to come in here and I guess overwatch the other side as well. So if anything... Oh, nice. So these guys get to overwatch a big group. That's interesting. Oh, so actually, I think it is. Yes, yeah. so I think it's everything the eye has. They Overwatch. I don't know. Overwatch. Let's just Overwatch there. And then I guess we'll set up a nice little like, ambush here as well for when they come in. I guess we'll test out this Overwatch mechanic. Um, so let's go ahead and Overwatch. I guess like here. Overwatch. Um, I, I'm going to... I'm going to, like, send him out because I, I imagine he has 200 HP. I doubt they're going to do 200 HP. Get him to fire. And probably put him back now. With haste. We obviously have our jump packs as well that can come in. They'll clear out anything. Um, that's a little bit too scary. I guess we'll, we'll do this as well. Just overwatch with both of them, boys. And have the assault marines ready to move in when the Tyranid scum come. I mean, I guess if we can fireball, no, nothing can fire there. Victory for okay, the cool. Let's end the turn. Let's Victory see them coming. The um, Overwatch and confirm. Yeah, basically everyone just Overwatch. Yeah, there you go. The Overwatch is coming in now. We should hopefully do some decent damage. Lots of momentum there. Clear out a big portion of the Hormagons. 
They are going to be able to get their attack in. But I believe also we get to attack back as well whenever they uh, whenever they come. I mean, it probably would have been a good idea to just uh, a nice bay overwatch as well. A okay. little bit of damage. Okay, so more gaunts coming behind us. A lot of gaunts. So the two units have a whole range of different units. Like, they have some really, really messed up. Um, so we, we could just... Can't fall back there, but I mean, we should be able to just kill them all, right? Let's get these guys out first. Um, yeah, so the Tyranids have a whole manner of creatures, as you may, like, as you may assume. Like, the Tyranids have huge, just hulking units that are just insane. They're, like, not a, not a faction you really want to mess around with. Um, so let's just, I guess, move him in, and he can, uh, get his hands a bit bloody. Oh, it's cost me an AP. Oh, because I'm moving a little bit too far. That was my bad. Literally just one Gordon left. But luckily, he has two AP, so that's fine. Let's just fire his Bolter in. I mean, it's not very Blood Angel, but just a, a one tap right there. Perfect. Again, the rest of the Gorns are coming in the other side, which is fine. So these guys should probably come around here now. I'll leave this unit here, just kind of overwatching this section. And then I'll bring this uh, unit uh, around here. And they can overwatch, like, this section here. They shall not pass. Perfect. And then you guys overwatch around here as well. Coming this close. And then you guys have already used your AP. Perfect. Um, so my I'll probably leave, I'll probably bring ready. this unit around as well and leave these there. So can I leave my Fight wounded units done. just kind of covering you these sections? Them. I think it's not a bad idea. Get the turn as well. Perfect. Uh, yeah, everybody overwatch who hasn't already. Let them come. They should hopefully come into the overwatch on my aggressors, which is what I'm really looking forward to. Oh no, my over my aggressors didn't go to overwatch. That's a shame. So 40% chance to hit 30. Yeah, not good. Okay, you guys come around here now and fire him. Get some decent damage there. Perfect. We have these assault marines. Could use our jetpack. Yeah, we'll use our jetpack to go over here. Yeah, I mean, this is obviously the tutorial mission. We have to hold out. What? Yeah, there's only two more remaining as well. Yeah, these guys Victory there. The you guys lights. get your, your weapons out there. He's going to calm down. Can I uh, speed things up as well? 55% chance to hit. I mean, I guess it's a bit better. I should see them dead. And then you guys move him there as well. Look at that fire coming in. It's brutal. What? I told you I was charged. Did I not? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. You guys fired yet? Yeah, you guys are fired. We'll bring you guys in as well. Finish them off. Nice, yeah. There's only one Gaunt Squad left now. Death Just fire in. Hell yeah. Is that all of them? Hell yeah. Easy. Mission complete. We didn't fight. take any casualties. I, that. I don't know yet if you truly are scions of Sanguinius or just some ruse of the Archmagos. Battle but, will decide. Don't worry. If Dante believed in me, does. you will believe in me. Immediate assistance required. Tyranids converge at the Volkscaster Relay on the cell Veritas Western Edge. Form on me, brothers. It appears Balfour has decided she's not yet done with you. Okay, back into the fray we go. Let's proceed. And again, that was quite a quick mission. Obviously, that was like the tutorial mission, really just kind of getting you to grips with the game. But let's, uh, yeah, let's dive into the next one. Get a bit more lore. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. There is only war. People are born, they live, they suffer, and they die. They die. <laughs> awesome. Rarely of natural causes. Days prior to the fall of Cadia, Dante faced his greatest challenge. High Fleet Leviathan had broken through the Krypton Shield, and the Tyranids bore directly for the sacred homeworld of the Blood Angels. Baal. Sons of Sanguinius rallied from the far corners of the galaxy. Complete strangers died side by side as brothers. Yet even this unprecedented congregation could not hold back the Great Devourer. In their darkest moment, the Blood Angels gathered around Lord Commander Dante. A last stand. They gave themselves to the Red Thirst and stood in defiance of the alien. Not for survival, 
for the chapter was doomed. But for the honor of their sire, the great Angel Sanguinius. And then, pandemonium, the Cicatrix Maledictum opened and tore the galaxy in two. Time stretched, contorted. Demons of corn poured across the moon of Baal Primus, tearing at Xenos and Marines alike. Havoc reigned. But just as quickly as it appeared, the Cicatrix Maledictum contracted. It took with it both the demons and vast swathes of High Fleet Leviathan. In their place, the Indomitus Crusade appeared, helmed by the Avenging Sun himself, Primarch Rebute Gilliman. Ooh, Rebute. Goosebumps. The Blessed Primarch didn't just bring relief to Baal. He brought with him the Primaris Space Marines, thousands bearing the mark of the Blood Drop. The Primaris were larger, stronger, more resilient than their first-born brethren. But to the Blood Angels, they represented a different kind of salvation. The promise of these super soldiers was of an improved gene line, more pure and closer to that of Sanguinius. Away from prying ears, Archmagos' call whispered that they showed fewer signs of the flaws that plagued the great angel's blood. No more thirst beating at their hearts. No more armor to be painted black. A semblance of normality has since returned to Baal. The monolithic Indomitus Crusade prepares to leave. Commander Dante, now Lord Regent of half of the Imperium, works to heal his chapter and Baal of the trauma suffered at the hands of Leviathan. And on the moon Baal Secundus, Sergeant Carlion hurries to the aid of a sanguinary priest. So a lot of lore being dropped in there. So yeah, that's, that's awesome, man. 40k is just such an, a, a widespread universe that you can just, just dive into and, and get lost. But there's so many great videos out there as well if you do want to learn more. But yeah, basically, we got these new kind of types of soldiers called Primaris Marines, which are an improvement on the original ones. They've got you know kind of closer genes to their Primarchs, which are basically what every soldier is based off of in these chapters. The Blood Angels are all based off their specific Primarchs. Primark, the and all the other chapters are based off theirs. All these Primarchs are lost. They are like basically like like demigods, you know, like Achilles or someone like that who are just hyper intelligent, hyper strong, can just kill anything in their path like literal monsters. But unfortunately, they were all lost in some way or another. Uh, and we finally have one in the lore who have come to save humanity, and that is Rebute Gilliman. And uh, yeah, I mean, every time uh, they hint at another one coming back, uh, everyone does get super, super hyped. So we do have army upgrades, so we can kind of see the differences of our forces right now, which is kind of cool. Can I design what I bring into battle? Oh, we can. So we have a set amount of Points? Yeah, I guess uh, these are our reserves. So these are probably what I have the, the option to bring into battle. Um, well, I mean, I guess we'll take another unit of jump pack. Oh, we already have two. No, we don't. So yeah, I'll definitely take uh, I'll definitely take another unit of aggressors, and we'll take another we unit of uh, assault pack. Of yeah, that seems good. I mean, can we upgrade these guys at all? Transfer units to reserves. Is this not my reserves? And we all then we have these reserves here as well. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Is there any way for me to, like, upgrade them with different weapons? Doesn't look like it, at least not for now. But I assume later on there will be, be the opportunity to. When you have your reserves. So, yeah, okay, that's cool. Okay, interesting. And we also have HQ upgrades as well, right? Yeah, HQ upgrades, which, again, this is our sergeant, um, which we can, I guess, improve. So, what do we have right now? So, spend tokens. So, we currently have two tokens for completing that mission. I mean, I, get, I assume we so have to take this one. Over us. So we'll take uh, Tactical Precision, just makes him much better at hitting, and also a bit of armor piercing as well. Uh, then we can get Battle Tactic affecting affects casting units. We can make another unit better. Actually, we don't even have enough, unfortunately. Uh, that's fine. Okay, we'll just upgrade him, because I can't think, don't think we can afford any of this, but... I mean, I probably just want to go down, like, one of these routes, maybe. Sword of Sanguinius seems like a beast. Thunderhammer. So it does seem like you can probably upgrade units... 
uh, it's some way or another. We'll have to get more into that though. Okay, let's move on to our next mission. So we are on one of the moons of Bol. I thought Bol got, uh, Bao got blown up, but I guess not. I think maybe I was thinking of Cadia. It also says new units are available, but what ones? Don't think so. I think we've got everything that we, we have access to, right? We've got a jump packs. We've got two of them, three units of intercessors, uh, and two aggressors as well. So, uh, yeah, no difference here. And you can see they've already got a an initiation? Initi yeah, okay. So, yeah, I wonder if there is a way to upgrade them at some point. Interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into this mission. The promise of battle makes these Primaris restless, eager. It is my duty to assess their potential here on the source of Balfora. Through combat, I intend to discover who these red armored giants truly are. Some of them take in the vistas of the salt like bored Taurus. There is little regard for the skies and sands that shaped our father. They will learn quickly. Or Balfora will kill them. She does not tolerate laxity. I expect this priest we find will also be new to his role. There is no reason other than youthful ignorance to risk the angel's blood on the swords. In these days following Leviathan's devastation, we are a chapter awash with fresh blood. One of the uh, crazy things as well about the Tyranids is like these are these humongous fleets that are just devastating everything in their path are rumored to just be like the tendrils, the scouting forces, and they're already bringing like the galaxy to its knees. Um, and yeah, they're just rumored to be basically a very um, kind of beginning part of the army. Offline, I was afraid only the Zenos had heard my calls for backup. Make haste, my reductor still has work to do. As you say, brother, the Bloodblades of the Eighth are ever eager to serve the sanguinary priesthood. Okay, awesome. So we over our limit? Yeah, we've got too many points. Okay, I should have maybe have figured that out a little bit more. We can stick them in reserve. I wonder what reserve does as well. If we can, like, bring them in later on in the battle. If units die, maybe. Um, so maybe let's, yeah, let's maybe do that. We still have the aggressive. We have a lot of fire support. We have some good frontline infantry and just two units. We are a little bit uh, under. Uh, but that's fine. Okay. Let's just proceed. I'm ready to help. And then we have our, so this is our apothecary. He can basically heal soldiers, uh, which is good, as his chain sword. And then where are we spawned? So we're spawned back here. So let's push up here first. So we'll get our intercessors up as fast as we can. I might even spend reaction points if there's nothing good to shoot at. No, there's definitely something good to shoot at. Let's obviously focus down there. We'll get these, I mean, I guess also we'll get our fire support up here as quickly as we can as well. Forward! Get yeah, the aggressors up there. The aggressors are in like a special armor called Gravis armor. So they're much slower, but they're much tankier. Um, oh, there's some more over here as well. Can't fire them. We're out of range and everything. So I guess we'll just overwatch like this section they of the battlefield. We got our assault guys over here. There's no way they'll be able to get. Oh, they can get up here. That's amazing. Um, so they'll Xenos like down here, right? Yes. So let's uh, jump over there. Oh, we're still a little bit out of the way, but we can still shoot them, I guess. And they don't have, like, a melee overwatch? No, they don't, right? Yeah. So I guess we all just the shoot over here. No right that was a little bit ballsy of me, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> a little bit ballsy, uh, but I guess it's fine. They, they, you know, they are sons of Sanguinius. So we'll probably bring over some fire support For to help the them. So also, we have to defend the brother uh, from the Tyranid Assault and harvest the Blood Angel gene seeds as well, yeah. We don't want the gene seeds falling into enemy control. Because one of the things the Tyranids do, or at least are rumored to do, uh, is that they My fury can't get over there. One of the rumored things that the Tyranids are, are said to do is take stuff from different species and put that into their own. So, like, there's, like, some crazy melee... Yeah, we can't get anyway, so we might as well just use up his AP. Uh, there's some crazy melee Tyranids that, you know, are said to come from certain units. Close combat support. I guess I'll keep my, uh, I guess I'll keep my, my units there. And then I guess, yeah, you guys will overwatch as well. Oh, can we missile? Oh, can we missile? No, I think, oh, we could. So I guess we'll missile here. Can we, uh, oh, God, I didn't mean almost shot my units. Yeah, let's numbers. missile here. They will not overwhelm us. I'll just clear them out, give these guys a little bit more protection, I guess. 
I was gonna say I could have maybe of tactical positions just to give them a better chance of hitting. Definitely doing this on like a, a an aggressive unit that has so many shots is gonna be the way to go. My just grab up that sense. gene seed, I guess. It's gonna cost me an AP. I guess I need to kill before anything else. Let's just move in. He has what two? Yes. Yeah, so let's just chain sword up. The apothecaries aren't exactly. I mean, they're still you know blood angel apothecaries, so they're still you know, pretty. <laughs> pretty deadly uh, but they're not exactly like your your fighty fighty characters uh, that'll be fine though nice um so is that everybody everybody's used ap uh we have Assault Marines ready. these guys have these guys don't can we shoot anything um yeah i guess just fire in there i wonder if i leave them with ap if they then fight back if they get into melee i wonder how that works either way we'll, we'll end the turn we'll let the tyranids come They'll get ripped apart. They did not lose that many. So yeah, we get some pistol reaction shots. I wonder how that applies as well. Let me just get him, get hit him there. So they're trying to retreat, and uh, my apothecary, uh, if I, oh, they're just trying to pull back. I hear them. Which is fine as long as he survives. That's good. Under fire. We got some of the Hormagons, so these are the shooty ones. So the basic gaunts that the Tyranids have access to, uh, they have like kind of melee ones, and they also have um, they have more aggressive ones. So yeah, I mean taking this hill should be fairly easy now, honestly. Um, so I guess let's do it. Obviously, we also need to still need to get all these gene seeds as well. So pushing out is actually not a bad idea either. So yeah, so uh, chop down some dudes there. You guys have a pretty good chance just to finish these guys off right away. I'm just trying to think, like, tactically, what do we want to do? There's no, like, turn time either, right? Yeah, so... I guess we're going to move over here with our sergeant. Let's get him over whilst he's moving. You guys fire in there. You guys melee in there. We'll just clear out this. This should be, like, a, a pretty easy slaughter. And then we're going to harvest here, right? Can we harvest? He has AP, but there's no button to harvest. So I wonder why we can't. Because over here, we could harvest this. Veins. Yeah, harvest. We got the Gene C, which is good. Of course. And we'll, we'll start bringing him down as well. And he can also even just Whatever fire in there the as well. Perfect. Requires. So yeah, I wonder why we can't harvest here. We still have the AP. Maybe we need movement as well. Maybe we also need movement. Let's get these guys uh, turned around as well. Yes. So they're facing this way. You guys can finish them off. Ready to strike. We also got another unit of aggressors, which we're going to stick on top of this hill and just overwatch this entire passage coming in. Bring over some more infantry. Because we're going to kill this as well with this unit of uh, intercessors back here. Because none of you guys have, none of you guys have left anymore. And we're going to push down and take the rest of the gene seed that we've access to. It shouldn't be too difficult. Maybe the apothecary can come in as well and just heal whatever we need. So yeah, you guys push up here now. You guys get your asses. I mean, I don't want to take some damage there, so I guess we'll just shoot. And then you guys make the move as well. <laughs> Covering fire. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, and you guys, uh, you guys like face this way as well, because I don't want them tearing us coming down there. Yeah, I wonder why he can't shoot. Does, do you also need movement, maybe? Oh, there's no one in range for him to shoot. Interesting. I guess we'll just overwatch down here then. Because we can't seemingly do that, which is fine. To help. And he can move in as well. My duty is service. Again, these are gun, these are termagons. So these are like units that we actually can get stuck into. And if we touch them, that's fine. But yeah, we cleared out everything else. Call us in the turn. Everybody overwatch if you haven't. Oh, I forgot to overwatch with these guys, but that's good. That's fine with me. Let's see what they're, they're capable of. He does some decent damage. Taking fire! And then we'll hit them as they try and pull back. Still no, I guess they just don't hit. Some more Gaunts coming in. We'll be able to jump in and do, yeah, some serious damage there. Maybe, maybe oh, I, I assume actually with the Gene Seed, it's probably only the Apothecary who can get it. Yeah, that's nothing. Wow, they did like nothing there. That is brutal. 
All right, let's move our way in then and uh, get some choppy choppy, I guess. Would it be best to come down? No, we wouldn't be able to reach down there. So it's better to get the guns up here and just start firing down from the barricades. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so I guess we will just uh, make our way down and just start slicing up with our, our captain. You will fall me. Can we, we can jump pack as well. Yep, here we go. Jump pack our way over. Oh my god, we're going to cut these guys down. I assume we're going to run into something a little bit more scary on this mission. But maybe it is still just being quite passive and so you can chop again. Can we have a gene seed down here? No, not... Oh, we actually can. Nice. So we can get our gene seed. We'll spend one AP. Uh, we'll spend these guys just to fire there. The and then he we should be able to claim that now. Yeah, there you go. He can harvest, which is perfect. Um, can we jump down here? Oh, nice. We can. Let's jump there. Then we're going to get one unit there, one unit we're there. Straight. And we're going to cover all these sections. Nothing behind us. Yes, this is beautiful, my brothers. When you guys get stuck in there as well. Perfect, men. Yeah, when we just we have this entire high ground, we can just overwatch basically. Um, and then you guys overwatch this side. They shall not pass. Uh, we can also just shoot. Yeah, we should probably shoot over here. Let's finish them off. Probably bring them there. We have these guys covering this section. Do so we need that? We don't have enough to heal anyone, which is fine. Yeah, I mean, so far, so good. The Tyranids haven't really put up too much of a fight. We are losing a bit of momentum because we're not killing anything. Yeah, okay. Uh, here we go. So I'm guessing some... Uh, well, these just, oh, he's just Hormagon still. Okay, nothing too scary. But yeah, I imagine we'll start to run into something a little bit more dangerous the further we get in. So I guess we're going to go this way and wrap our way around. Or we can take the high ground. Hmm, what is... I mean, we could probably just send a unit of aggressors... I mean, let's send the unit of intercessors down here first to see what we're going to run into. Yeah, there you go. Some venom ropes up there. These guys are pretty nasty. Um, and I guess we'll just overwatch this section. Yeah, I mean, grabbing that is pretty important. And he can't go through. So if we just move these guys, we should be okay. We have the, the aggressors on that side. I kind of want to send the melee over here, you know? Let them just kind of cover this section and we can always jump back down. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of really melee Assault this. They can probably even shoot down there. Oh, and he's behind full cover, so I can't see them. Okay. It's obviously going to... So these guys can still hit. But these guys can't, I guess. Which is fine. So yeah, you guys just fire in there. No right to live. I'm going to overwatch these sections here. I guess Dante... Uh, we can also do this as well. Sanguinius guides every so we'll spend strike. one AP just to give these guys that boost. So I, I assume that Overwatch will, will benefit the blood from blood it. Blood. We'll cover this Victory section. And then can he get there? He can get there. Nice. And then we can just like wrap around, do this. Perfect. God, we are so Ready efficient. I guess we'll send these aggressors around here as well and bring down some more intercessors. I'm kind of scared that they're going to come behind us. You know, the Tyranids just come from anywhere. That's kind of their thing. I might even just spend that AP, get them a little bit further over because they're not shooting this turn. Um, and again, you guys just kind of cover that Overwatch. section. You, I guess you guys have a better line of sight there. It would be nice, honestly, if I had a button to see line of sight. Like, you know, in Steel Division where you can press V and you can see, like, everything they can see. We have a unit of uh, dudes here. But I guess, again, we'll just Overwatch. They will regret coming this close. Uh, yeah, everybody who hasn't already Overwatch. You lose tons of momentum, though, man. You really have to constantly... Oh, there's some more right there. They're going to get Overwatched again. But I assume, but yeah, these guys still have their tactical position as well. Give them more AP. So if they do come any closer, I assume this uh, land that they're dropping down is not good for me. So we might actually have to send this priest back. And I totally forgot to harvest as well. That was my bad. Yeah, we might have to send him this way. Because it seems like these guys are putting down poisoned, uh, poisoned ground, which I assume we can't walk in. So a little bit of damage there. Seems like the AI is uh, having some fun there. It's kind of covering the section. Yeah, so let's harvest that. So we got that gene seed. I mean, I guess we're pulling Heavy back this way. Support. With him. So we, is there anyone we need to heal? Everybody's looking good on HP. So I guess we're going to bring him this way. These guys should be enough to hit them. So there's tactical position. Because it's not like we're going to be using much there. We're going to push you guys forward one. Ready you guys push strike. forward so you're in range. And even with that tactical precision, precision that gives us 
more range accuracy. It's still really struggling. I wonder if it's because these guys are in the way. Yeah, but oh, it's because of the toxic stuff. Base damage reduction down. Yeah, not good. We are the sons of I mean, I guess we will just fire even if we are going through our own friendly units. So these guys are pretty wounded. So let's just focus them down as best as we can. Yeah, grazing, so I don't think that does enough AP damage. Look past their haze, brothers. Yeah, not a lot. Can we pull back a little bit? We can pull back. So I guess we're going to pull back just out of this toxic mess. And, uh, I mean... Yeah, I'd rather them come into, like, this little area here where we can use everybody to our advantage. Um, and yeah, he's just going to sit there, I guess, get ready to push in when they come. We have another unit of infantry here as well. So I guess we, yeah, we're just going to leave him, like, maybe in this corner. So when they do come in, if they do come into melee, we'll hammer them hard. And you guys move up and then just hit them. If we can take from me, try and take out one. That'd be really good. I assume as well we are in cover quite nicely. So yeah, again, some damage, but not massive. Does like say my armor value? So we got five armor value. But yeah, I wonder like if this this cover here is like, giving me anything. It would be nice if we saw like if we saw something about that. I may just have the bolt storm gauntlets. Okay, cool. Uh, so we should just jump down, right? Go slice, slice. <laughs> Give these guys a little what for. Um, so we just want to, yeah, we'll just melee these guys down. Crit them. Bring these guys up. And then doubt they can shoot that way. Yeah, the enemy's behind full cover. So we'll, again, we'll just push up. And you guys just keep on moving in. And then we have our apothecary who will eventually get over here. Obviously, we need to need a couple more turns to get down there to... Uh, Take that gene seed whilst our lieutenant holds the line. All right, it's in the turn. Everybody who hasn't already Overwatch. If they come again, they'll be dropping down some... Oh, he's facing the wrong way. But we should be able to... I mean, that hurts, obviously. But we'll be able to slaughter these guys uh, next turn. Yeah, I mean, that's painful. We'll, we'll obviously kill whatever's in front of us and then pull back. We have melee attacks and everything. Oh, nice. We reactionary attack. I wonder why we get... Like, when we get... Like, how we get the reactionary attack. Oh, Oh, that does not sound good. Did you hear him? He said, I hear something. That can't be too good. I assume we, yeah, I assume it's only the apothecary you can get the gene seed. That is true. Okay, good to know. The so, again, we'll just push him. He should be able to get in the next chapter. turn. We'll bring these guys down. Ideally, I, I wish I had both the uh, both the aggressors here as well. Um, so what would be better? Hitting here? Yeah, definitely hitting with the, uh, the general. Yeah, for sure. He cuts these guys down. And we'll go in again. I was thinking about maybe spending an AP for tactical precision. Uh, but I don't think we'll need it. He just slaughters them. Blood Angel characters are notor 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 notorious. Notorious? For being just absolutely monsters. Um, so I guess we're going to try and bring these guys down. I really do want to fall back with these guys if I can help it as well. They are getting a little bit low. We'll do as much damage as we can. Soften them up. For the aggressors just to move in. But yeah, that toxic presence is not good. Plus base damage reduction received. So wait, are we also receiving damage reduction, I wonder? Because we're in this. I, I can only imagine it affects just them. We also go and punch them, but I don't think it's going to be enough. So only a chance to hit. I mean, actually, that's actually really good. I don't know what would be better, though. Because it's only 1 to 2 damage, but 72. We basically, ev if we just get 70% every time, we just kill all of these because they're all below, yeah, the threshold. Ah, uh, maybe not. I think it's actually better to melee these guys. So let's give that a go. And yeah, nice. I think that was definitely the right decision. And then just pull these guys back. Can I get out of this? Uh, or do we push forward? I mean, we are sons of Sanguinius. Maybe we do just try and push forward. I also wonder how long this lasts for because that's already gone. So maybe it does just go next turn. I mean, definitely he can push up. Squad ready. And yeah, I guess you guys push up as well. Always ready. Always vigilant. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just hold the line. I'm a bit scared of something coming out here. Or oh, Ember Turn. They will regret coming this and we are still poisoned, so we still take a little bit of damage. Okay. I probably should have pulled out, but I mean, what's the worst that can happen? As long as we don't lose. We haven't actually lost a, a single Space Marine yet. 
Just some more Gorns coming up. Again, I would love to. Luckily, these have a Horma Gorn ones, so nothing too crazy there. Luckily, they're another range one, so we can basically wipe these guys out. Oh, a lot of Gorns. Okay. They're shifting over here. If this poison doesn't get rid of it, we're gonna we're probably gonna fall back. More targets coming in as well. I wonder though if we just take the uh, take the gene seed if this is GG and we win. So that's uh, I guess we'll move up with our another unit of aggressors here. You guys can also jetpack as well. Yes, to the skies, brother. Well, let's go slicey slicey there. Bring these guys in as well. Just kind of cover more of this. We are the lords of the assault doctrine. And then can he? And if he, these guys, these guys can also jetpack. Uh, there's no no point though. We'll just get him in there, and they can always just come in next turn. I mean, he can't get down there, so it's still one more turn until he can even arrive. Unfortunately. Um, and I guess we'll push forward and then just. Uh, we can jetpack, so we can go over, which is definitely what we're going to do. So, yeah, this gives us poison damage received. Yeah, so we want to get out of this as quickly as possible. I just don't want to push him too far forward in case he gets absolutely wrecked. But, yeah, these guys are definitely dead. So, let's maybe, like, move here. So, we'll jump pack just so we can get over our units. Yeah, it's nothing too scary out here, honestly. Um, so, it's... I mean, maybe we just bolter because these guys are going to kill them. Maybe just taking these guys out is going to be... Maybe we can tactical presence with our, our special command ability. We'll use just a unit of intercessors to kill them. Yeah, so you guys just finish these guys off very easy. And hopefully that, ta that, that sludge won't apply to us. So then we'll bring these guys up. Probably tactical presence, because I think they'll do way more damage. So now I should have a boost to all their attacks. And yeah, now we have water a 60%. So one thing I would actually like to see in the game is having that to hit chance broken down. So like, why why am I at 60% to hit? You know, is it because of the terrain? Is my base chance something, you know? Like, I assume if I hover over this, it will tell me my base chance? No, it doesn't. Actually fall off per tile. So because we're, I assume, two tiles away, we get a minus 30% hit, maybe? And then what's the other 10% coming from? You know, I'd, I'd like to see that a bit more. Too close, unfortunately. Hit these guys and do some serious damage. Basically kill a handful of them. I think this is better, though. There's more of these guys in the units. Some nice crit there as well, which is boosting our chance. Obviously, every bit of momentum we have, we gain more red first. These guys already used their shots, so we'll bring these up now as well. Try and just finish off one of these units. And then these guys can make their way up as well. Just get out of that toxic... Oh, these all toxic presence here. Okay, we might actually lose our first space marine. Maybe not here, though. Affirmative. And then, yeah, these guys are already moved. You guys might as well use your AP. And then he'll just come in and take the last of the gene seeds. And obviously, you face this way as well. You can also just move still as well if you wanted to. Okay, guess so everybody set up. Simba turn. Hopefully no more. Yeah, nice. The poison went now, which is great. And here they come. So we suppressed them, which I wonder what that does. Oh my god, he's actually pretty low. He could definitely die. I mean, he'll kill that one, right? Go and kill it as it jumps. Nice. That's at least one less attack. He's actually a lot lower than I thought he was. Luckily, they go for a different... They go for my aggressors instead. I'm just used to Space Marine characters being so strong, but I guess he isn't a, uh, a Primaris. Yeah, luckily, uh, these Gaunts are pretty stupid. The Sanguinary Priesthood serves the will of the chapter. Okay, well, let's... Uh... I mean, let's see what we can do here. So, do we want a tactical presence again? 50, 50, 40, 40. Yeah, I think we do. Even though he does kill a lot, I think this will be very good. So now we're up to a 75% hit chance on these guys. Let's murder them. Very nice. Definitely want to get these guys forward, so let's push him forward. Oh, zone of control. God, he's getting... We need to make sure we clear this, because he is not looking good. And there's another unit back there as well we need to be a bit careful of. 
Move in. You deal with that. We are the lords of the assault doctrine. Uh, I think we actually need some of these intercessors to clear these guys out so we can bring up our zone of control as well. Yeah, perfect. So now these guys can come in. Oh, they can't. Victory for the blood blades. He doesn't have another AP either. It's unfortunate. Bring the assessor. The, uh, yeah, we'll bring them there. Maybe if we get these guys out of the way, then these guys can slot in perfectly there. Yeah, they can now. Perfect. Okay, cool. I am the sword of Sanguinius. Uh, we'll shoot these guys Death some more, just again, just to protect our, our general a little bit. There's less of them there attacking. Obviously, you can also just shoot them as well. Bring in our assault marines. I guess we'll push forward here as well. And yeah, you guys, I mean, yeah, you guys just clear these out or at least kill as many of these Termagons as possible. The good thing is as well, the Termagons are shooty Tyranids, so they're going to have to try and fall back and then we get a, a chance to hit them as well, uh, which isn't too bad. Everything here is out of uh, action points, which is fine. Oh, there's a lot of them back here. Yeah, you guys, uh, maybe just missile. Yeah, missile these ones. Oh my god, that isn't... Okay, Darren, nothing too crazy. Close combat support. I mean, you should be able to get that last gene seed now. Perfect. Victory um, for the blood blades. Yeah, I mean, Victory maybe I should have missiled over here, actually, just to obviously give my sergeant a little bit of extra time. That is the last of the protonoids that I can gather here. Your assistance has been noted, sergeant. And now we just need to clear the rest of uh, the tyranids. Okay, so just these last four. Can we do it? They will fear to can we do it without um, without losing a single space marine? That's the goal, right? That is the goal. So they're going to move over here, which is fine. We'll get our aggressors. We'll be able to fire on these guys. We'll clear these guys out of melee next turn. Nice. I think we've done it. And I don't think we're going to lose a single, single marine. That's a little bit scarier. They're going to fire in there. They should have their range, their ability to fire. Severely hampered. He just clears, clears that out. Perfect. Yeah, we've got this in the bag. I mean, there's nothing really we can do here. Uh, I don't obviously also want to get too close to him either. We are the guns. You are the guns indeed, boys. Forward. And then, yeah, let's just focus down here. Do we really want to push these guys Ready in to take to that strike. damage? Open fire. Not a great chance to hit. Yeah, grazing as well. I think grazing means it just doesn't penetrate their... The swarm has no just doesn't penetrate their live. armor, so it just reduces damage. And obviously, they get reduction of damage as well in this toxic sludge as well, so... Maybe just go over there as well. Yeah, just not much damage. That AP is just not great. So I'm going to probably bring back my general. Can I bring him back here to get healed? I mean, he's so useful. So let's, I guess, tactical presence of these guys and then pull him back a little bit. I don't want him on the front line if I can help it. These guys have their boost. Because obviously, if they come up now, we're going to get a tactical sludge, and that's not good. Because maybe you send this unit. Is that? Yeah, no. So we'll push these guys here. Just so that when these guys come, they get hit. Oh, they got hit by it. Fuck, that's my bad. Can I move them back so they don't? Don't no control. Yeah, my bad. Oh, my God. Okay, we just got absolutely smashed there. My bad. They're poisoned. Oh, I'm so sorry. My assault marines. I'm so sorry. They are in their rage, though. So they get extra movement. Ah, oh, so bad of me. We are the lords of the assault um, yeah, I guess you guys just turn. Surge, give one action point. Yeah, Spear I guess we'll surge. And just fight them. them. Uh, they are so dead though. Maybe we can get one kill though? Yeah, no. yeah, we lost that unit. Ah, oh, it's going to be bad because I assume we don't get any bonuses from them. But yeah, what I wanted to do was I wanted to put them there so that we could avoid them from getting in and poisoning everything here. We might still achieve that, you know. We might still achieve that as everybody using. We also have these guys as well. So maybe we jump them in just to save and clear these guys out. They're obviously going to get poisoned, but then they can attack. I think that's worth it. I mean, this unit, I think, just dies. So they get poisoned. They're sludge. They can then kill these guys. I mean, at least there's one less unit. And then the this unit dies, whatever. It, it takes 30 damage. And it's got no HP. And we didn't even kill it. Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's not good. Man, I was uh, I was so so pumped. I mean, yeah, you just get your ass over here. That uh, was a big mistake, but we learn, we learn, we'll learn from our mistakes. Don't you worry. Yeah, okay, that's a soft turn. Who hasn't... Who's got action points left? 
Oh, our sergeant does. Maybe he can... Uh... Yeah, I, I should have shot with him as well. If I would have shot, we would have actually cleared this out as well. I am the sword of maybe he still can. He can go there for a movement point, and then maybe his pistol was in range. I doubt it, but yeah, no. Battle line squad ready. He's no movement points left. I could have put my thing and just jumped over here and been shot again. Yeah, that was a messy turn. Ah, uh, yeah, so just overwatch. That was a, that was a bad turn. God damn it. Needed. We lost him. We're going to come over here, which is fine. We get some nice little fight, some suppression in as well, which I can only imagine does reduce their abilities. And then they get to kill there. So they, they avenge our fallen brothers, which I guess is better than nothing. I mean, yeah, nice. Now we just finish these guys off. Send these guys in as well. Boom, we did it. Captain Matano. You've earned the rank, brother. Use it. But these council meetings are a swift reminder of how unqualified the title feels. Pray distract me from all this talk of logistics and recovery. Give me your assessment of the Primaris. Ah, uh, they're still courting beautiful Balfora. Plenty of gaunts remain for them to stretch their muscles. They've just finished intervening on behalf of Brother Aturo, in fact. The priest. I sent him with Pentasio to clear the Xenos pools west of the flats. Where is the sergeant? Dead, along with his men. Sergeant Pentasio insisted I retreat from the alien pools with the few progenoids I had right before his own throat was crushed. There was a foul presence among the alien towers. Show me. Take me to where you left Pentasio to die, priest. You will recover our brother's remaining gene seat, despite whatever you think lurks within those festering pits. God, space marines are just so cool. They really, really are. You definitely cannot, uh... You definitely cannot deny that the space marines are just like fearless. They don't fear fear, <laughs> you know, because they, they, they've had that part taken out of their brain. So another mission we've got, however, that's probably where we're going to leave it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our army, though. So I'm, I'm still curious. We can obviously take some more soldiers and there's some more reserves. So I wonder if this, these, yeah, these assault squads, I assume are the assault squads that, um, yeah, I assume they're the ones that died. And I've just been remade, but I have to spend points to maybe get them back in, I wonder. I mean, these are fresh ones. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just transfer them. Like, does that do anything? Like, there's no, is there no cost by the sounds of it. I can just bring that unit back in. Or not. No, no, that unit's right there. Okay. Yeah, no, I did lose that unit forever. So, these guys have... Um... Yeah, these guys have a couple missions, but I wonder if there's anything I can do with them, you know? It's like, is there any upgrades? I'm pretty sure you can upgrade them when they hit a certain point. I wonder. Okay, well, we'll definitely get another unit. We'll go ahead and replace that unit for sure. I mean, we already have... Maybe we just take another unit of intercessors, honestly. Into our into our army. Oh, another unit of aggressors wouldn't be bad either. Oh, it's more, more assault marines, honestly, is good as well. I, I guess you'll start sending more units to the reserve when you... Yeah, I guess you'll start sending more units to a reserve just when you fill up and you, like, obviously can't bring everything with you. And you also obviously also get access to better units. So we also have four commendation points. Okay, what do we want? Ten melee accuracy to just make him better. Affects all allies in range of two tiles. Gives them more, uh, more gain. Assault marine. So what do we have here? So we have a crazy missile. We have some better bonuses, I assume, for my units. Yeah, that's a better battle line tactics. Gives huge bonuses. Range damage. Base melee damage received. So I guess it boosts range. Oh, so is this just all my intercessors? It says intercessors. Affects ca uh, casting unit. So can my intercessors? Or does he put this on an intercessor, I wonder? We're only going to be able to pick up. We can pick up two of these ones, which we're going to do. So more momentum gain, and that just uh, that's just I'm oh, sorry, that's just more melee accuracy. That gets sword up and running, and then a thunder hammer as well just rips through enemies. Assault marine strike, spawn and assault. I mean that seems pretty good, right? 
you just plant this on a unit and they just get wrecked. First 36 times per tile for four tiles in a line dealing damage. Does do friendly fire. So is this what, like, yeah, this is like a, a special ability coming in as well. Oh, we also have our medic as well. Nice. So we actually split them between. So let's pick up one here. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just do... I don't know. All of these look really good. Honestly, like getting a hand flamer as well is not... A good, I can't get hand flamers, actually. This is like... And I wonder what these are as well. Uh, so we're going to go down this route, I think. Getting a good sword for him. Be pretty juicy, but this is also amazing as well. Now let's just, ball four, I was born. Yeah, let's grab that. So now he'll he'll gain he'll gain more melee accuracy, which is good, and he'll need it as well with a thunder hammer because I assume a thunder hammer reduces. You can also see the AP on the thunder hammer is also huge. And then let's spend some points over here. So we'll spend a point on this, just increasing his damage, I guess, because having someone here is uh is great. And he also gets an aggressor ability that he can pop on someone. The unit sacrifices all its remaining moving points and makes a range attack command, uh, command with four additional attacks for every MP spent. That's huge. So they, I think they have like five movement points. So then they make an additional 20 attacks on top of their already 20, already already 72 attacks. That's nice. When the day is darkest, Let's grab that vote and we'll confirm control. spending them points. Perfect. Okay, cool. Well, I think that's what we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode today. If you guys want to see more of this, do let me know. I wouldn't mind streaming this maybe next week sometime. I'm having an absolute blast playing this. Uh, I really, really am. Uh, and yeah, I recommend you guys check it out. As I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you go ahead and check out my... Um, check out my links down below in the description if you're thinking about picking this game up. Definitely recommend it if you're a fan of Warhammer 40k. Um, the game is really fun so far. Obviously, it might you know get really bad, but I can't imagine you know only going to be fighting bigger Tyranid swarms. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, this, drop a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.